wanted to make that same connection. I wanted to jolt people with that same recognition that I felt in those poems. The idea for the Life Force series has been brewing for over 35 years for me because after I left school, I went to a college where I was studying English literature and focused on Ted Hughes for my dissertation. But I also took a minor in art and we had to paint or draw for a final exhibition and I chose Ted Hughes for my final exhibition and I painted and drew inspired by his poetry. And ever since then, that idea has been in the background. And so the way the project worked was I went out sketching, I went out walking, I went out visiting the places that Ted Hughes writes about. I reread the poems, I read his letters. I immersed myself back into the man and his work and the landscape that we both love and have both reacted to. And that is the wild landscape of the Yorkshire Moors, specifically the Yorkshire Moors around Heptonstall and Hebden Bridge where he lived and in the Pennine Hills where I am. So I'm one valley across from where he lived in the Air Valley, but we share the same, it shares the same topography, it shares the same feeling. That's the landscape that has always inspired my painting as it inspired so many of his poems. The appeal of the Hughes poetry for me was this crackling sense of energy and power, access to this all of the time while we're living our average lives, doing our average things, that this incredible beauty and freedom and rawness and power is always running through everything. And I think that this project is proof to go back to what I said about in school, realizing the power of art to change somebody. This project is proof of the power of art. It's lasted my whole life, the impact of those poems. And it's now made me want to create something that I can share that power with other people. And I hope that somewhere someone feels the same sense of creative awakening when they see these paintings or read this book that I felt when I read Ted Hughes's poetry all that time ago. I owe such a huge debt to Ted Hughes and it's an enormous regret that obviously I cannot express that to him, but I would not be an artist today if it were not for those moments in that classroom when that poetry lit me on fire and instead of going off to secretarial school which was my my plan i went off to college and be, continued my studies and had a different life path because of the power of art i think it was important that these be abstract paintings because i wanted to capture so much more than what the landscape looks like in the same way that hughes does in his poetry so he will turn a phrase make a description. For example, he describes the old church at Heptonstall, which is now a ruin, as the skeleton of a giant bird that landed on the village. My words, not his, but that's the idea that he communicates. He tells a whole world in a, a few lines of poetry and a representational painting. I have never been able to make a representational painting of the landscape that does that. I'm sure there are people who can, I can't. For me, I need to go much more abstracted so that I can express the movement of the wind, the sounds that I'm hearing while I'm out there, the feelings that I'm having. So some of these paintings are much more abstract than others and they're much more about the internal landscape and some are more rooted in a horizon line and a sky, but they are all about this connection that we have with the life force that runs through nature.